Who am I here with? Tony O. And what's your favorite scary movie? Scream. Who am I here with? Alexa. And what's your favorite scary movie? Insidious. Who am I here with? Ricky. And what's your favorite scary movie? I'll probably say my favorite scary movie has to be The Black Phone. Who am I here with? Tyrus. And what's your favorite scary movie? Halloween Ends. Who am I here with? Mr. Vincent. And what's your favorite scary movie? Man, my favorite scary movie has to be Scream. I know y'all young, but Scream was off the chain, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go get that mask because I miss it. Scream fire. Yeah. <laughs>Welcome to KNY TV News today. It's Thursday, October 31st, 2024. I'm JV on Davis. And I'm Cameron Stuck. Now on to your student announcements. Here are a list of important dates that are coming up from your counseling office. November 12th, Indiana State coming during 7th hour. After that, November 21st, Laura College during 6th hour. Richard's fall play, 12 Angry Junior, is a thought-provoking look at the justice system and people's pre prejudice will be performed tomorrow, Friday, November 1st, and Saturday, November 2nd, in the RHS Auditorium at 7 o'clock p.m. Tickets are $10 a person and sold at the door. Attention students, as we prepare for the 25-26 school year course selections, counselors will host the ICC placement test at Richwood's Tuesday, November 12th at 8 a.m. If you are considering your first dual credit class, you'll need to take the ICC Placer test. In order to take this test, you'll need to first apply to ICC by going on their website to complete your online ICC application. ICC will email your student ID number once you have your ICC student ID number. Visit the counseling office and see Ms. Dreyer to sign up for the test. Please see your school counselor if you have any additional questions. Attention sophomore and juniors who are being interact. Big brother, big sister is desperate for male students to mentor little brothers by joining them through lunch buddies during school hours. If you are interested, please see Dr. Clarkson in room 163 for an application. Congratulations to Annie Witte, Sarai St. Tillis, Gabe Gross, and Sam Swain on advancing to cross-country sectionals. They will compete this Saturday in Metamora. Stop out to see the standard of excellence at the cross-country sectional Saturday. French Club will be meeting today after school in room 3 10. We will have a bingo and snacks to celebrate the day. Come join French Club today after school. That's all we have from KNYT News for today, October 31st, 2024. I'm Cameron Snook. I'm JV on Davis. Have a terrifying Thursday, Rich was a happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Welcome back to an extra spooky edition of the newly renamed Frankie Speedrun Game Reviews. Yay, ooh, ah, I changed my name. Big whoop. Let's get on with the show. Actually, before I do that, let me get changed real quick. There you go. Now that that's all out of the way, three, two, one, go! Welcome to Killer Frequency, a horror walking simulator where boredom is sure to catch you before the killer. You play as Forrest Nash, a radio personality who just moved into the town of Gallows Creek from Chicago, where you used to be a big shot radio host bringing in millions of listeners. But now you're on a midnight radio station that averages out to about 35 listeners a night. And you have a very irritating producer constantly yapping about who knows what. My, how the mighty have fallen. The town's 911 operator calls into the studio. Oh, that's interesting, I wonder why. The sheriff's been what? Suddenly, you're thrust into the role of 911 operator as the town of Gallows Creek is terrorized by a murderer known as the Whistling Man. Killer from the town's past, back to take his revenge on the town that caused his demise. Help the citizens of the town as they call in for your help to save them from the murderous maniac. Will you be able to save them all, or will the Whistling Man get to you first? Play the game to find out. Okay, now let me tell you what this game is actually like. It's kind of boring. In my first playthrough of the game, I genuinely went to each and every room as they opened and picked it clean of every last mug, pen, and post-it note. Because I needed something other than a little trash can basketball hoop to entertain my ADHD as the callers talk. I could talk about this game so much more. And originally I did, but it went far over the amount of time I can use. Um, but I'll just leave it at this. It's a good 6.5 out of 10. The vibes and aesthetic are great. Same with the graphics. But the story and gameplay are somewhat lacking, which is the point of the game. Thus the low score. 
Have a happy Halloween, everyone. And watch out for the next video the week after next. We'll be keeping the spooky theme, but with a bit more metaphorical matriarchal murder. See you then. Bye.